welcome to Boys Varsity Swimming on the Cardinal Sports Network. Today, Lawrence will be taking on Red Bank High School in a semi-final round of the NJSIAA State Championships. Cardinal swimmers have been doing very well this season. Let's see how this one goes. Today's first event is the 200 Methy Relay, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, the cave, stone, screen, and fours. In lane three, Galindo, Bardinas, Paul, and White. In lane five, Barley, Lynch, Byrne, and Kropinski. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Sukach, Gutierrez, Keen, and O'Rourke. In lane two, Lawrence, Lang, Wild, and Seaburger. In lane six, Keen, Lilja, Tanapali, and Millizar. And we're getting ready to start our first event. Swimmers jumping into the water. Start of the event. Leading the pack looks like lane four, Andrew Sukash, although Ryan Morris in two, really trying to stay with him there. Good competition from lane three, Red Bank. Turn really uh, picked up the lead for Sukash. He's stretching it out a little bit. And Morris hanging on to second. Next swimmers are in the water. We've got Gabe Gutierrez swimming in lane four with the lead. Ian Wang, a close second. Still closely followed by lane three from Red Bank. At the turn, it's still Gutierrez. And about the same amount of gap between second and third. Although Gutierrez is pulling away with the lead. Next swimmers in the water, that'll be James Keene in lane four. Over here in lane two, Ethan Wild. And lane two starting to open up a little bit of a gap over lane three. But nobody's catching up with Kane. Kane's still putting in a good swim. Very strong swim there by Ethan Wild in lane two. And final swimmer in lane four, Michael O'Rourke enters the water, followed closely by Matt Seeberger in lane two. Seeberger's going to have to swim to hold off that uh, lane three Red Bank swimmer. O'Rourke's already on his return leg, and here comes uh, Seeberger as well. Looks like O'Rourke's going to win the final leg here. There's a win in lane four, second in lane two, third in lane three, Red Bank. And those seem to be the three strongest teams out there. Lane five, it looks like Red Bank's going to come in in fourth. And in lane six, we see uh, Ben Malozar finishing up for Lawrence. Finally, lane one for Red Bank will be Rounding out the race as he makes his final pass. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on Lawrence Township the Public Schools is TV. 200 free, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Lynch, in lane three, White, in lane five, Barbinas. for Lawrence in lane four, Weiss, in lane two, Wild, in lane six, Wang. Start of the 200 free. And 
into the water they go. Watching for Anthony Weiss in lane four to lead this event, and he's living up to expectations at the moment. All six swimmers very close together at this point, but definitely Weiss with the early turn. Looks like uh, Red Bank may be holding on to second and third in the lanes flanking Weiss. Now moving into third, looks like he's going for second over here in lane two, Ethan Wilde. But way out in front, Anthony Weiss in lane four. Looks like he'll bring this one home easily. Weiss still pulling away with the lead. And Wild has definitely laid claim to second place now. Still got a swimmer in lane five, holding on to third. Just barely holding off Ian Wang over there in lane six. There's the turn for Weiss, as he's off in his own zip code right now compared to the rest of the field. Looking very relaxed out there. There's a nice close-up of Weiss. And you can see the form that has put him so far out ahead of the rest of the swimmers right now. And there's Weiss in for the win. For first in lane four. Lane two, Ethan Wilde takes second. Looks like lane five will get third for Red Bank. And over in lane six, we've got Ian Wang in for fourth. The next event is the 200 IM. So looking for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Stone. In lane three, Hall. In lane five, Martinez. So looking for Lawrence in lane four, Keen. In lane two, Morris. In lane six, Seaver. for James Keen to try and get out front in lane four. Looks like he's got serious challenge there in lane three and lane two. Ryan Morris there as well. Got several swimmers very close together still on this one. Hard to declare a leader at the moment. At the turn, it's still a four-way battle for the lead. Maybe three. And the one to watch here seems to be Ryan Morris in lane two, as he's just a hair ahead of the other two who are, who are practically a dead heat at the turn. Looks like Seaburger trying to keep pace there as well. Morris just barely ahead of Keen at the turn. We've still got a very close three-way battle here, and at this stroke, it looks like Red Bank is pulling into the lead in lane three. Definitely Red Bank in lane three with the lead now. A little bit of problem with the rope there in that lane marker but it's not slowing Red Bank down at all. Red Bank first at the turn. Just about a dead heat for second and third right there. Now we see the Lawrence swimmers trying to close back up. 
got a good deal of distance to make up, however. And we've got a serious challenge coming up in lane four. James Kane trying to regain the lead from Red Bank, but it's not going to happen. Red Bank in for first. Kane for Lawrence in second. And Morris in third. Also over there in lane six, Seaburger came in for fourth right behind those three. And now we see the rest of the Red Bank team finishing up the event. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. The next event is the 53, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Forbes, in lane three, Krapinski, in lane five, Sullivan. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Jorgensen, in lane two, Rosenberg, in lane six, O'Rourke. Uh, don't blink, folks. This is going to be a fast one. Swimmers getting ready for the 50 free. And into the water they go. This is a sprint, folks. Down and back. And right now, it's a very close race. At the turn, I would have to say a lane three for Red Bank had it. But after the turn, well, it's hard to say. It's very close there between lanes three and four. Jorgensen in four, but I think three is going to take it. And yes, lane three for Red Bank takes the win, followed by Jorgensen in lane four. And over in lane two, Rosenberg for Lawrence. The next event is the 100 fly, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Scree. In lane three, Melindo. In lane five, Burn. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Keen. In lane two, Wild. In lane six, Yuckman. Looking at James Keene in lanes four to lead the charge for Lawrence. Into the water the swimmers go. And looks like Kane with a good dive there got out ahead of everyone before he even surfaced. Good battle the rest of the way across the field. At the turn, it is Kane in the lead. That may be Yuckmau over there in lane six. Trying for second. Now lane two. Uh, Wild closing in. That's Wild up into second. Yuckmau trying to hold on to third with a heavy challenge from lane three of the Red Bank swimmers. But out front, it's James Keene all the way. Good turns for Lawrence. And right now it looks like Lawrence has got one, two, and three. There's first, second, and yes, Lawrence finishes one, two, three for the event. Good swim for the Lawrence team. Now we see the swimmers from Red Bank finishing up as well. There's lane five. And over here in lane one, swimmer from Red Bank, giving it his all, going to go the distance. And he comes to round out the field. Good show of sportsmanship there. Always oh, see that with the swimming events, good to see is the 103 swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Farley, in lane three, Kropinski, in lane five, Sullivan. 100 freestyle coming up. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Weiss, in lane two, Rosenberger, in lane six, Gutierrez. 
be looking for Weiss in lane four to lead the charge here in the freestyle competition. Slight edge, it is Weiss in lane four. But the rest of the field is about a dead heat for second. Weiss with the early turn out ahead. Now laying claim to second over there in lane six. It's Gabe Gutierrez. Weiss with the turn. Gutierrez with the turn. And it looks like third may be going to one of the Red Bank swimmers. They were both about a dead heat at that last turn. No question about who's winning right now as Weiss is way out front. Gutierrez is in lane six, solidly in second as they head for the return. Here goes Weiss in for the win. Followed by Gutierrez. And pulling it out at the end, Roland Rosenberg will bring home third for Lawrence for another one, two, three finish for the boys swimmers. Lawrence boys team looking very good right now. The next event is 403, swimming for red back region on lane one, Macallion, and lane three, White, and lane five, Cardenas. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Sukach, and lane two, O'Rourke, and lane six, Seaburger. longer event. Same stroke, but much longer distance. So pacing will become important here. We see lane three for Red Bank going out fast a little early. We'll see whether that's confidence in his durability or if he's got uh, if he's gone a little too soon and burns himself out. Sukash in second right now in lane four. And it looks like uh, Michael O'Rourke is in third in lane two. They're both very close together, as is the lane, swimmer in lane five for Red Bank right there with them. Now we see Sukash taking the lead in this event. Apparently his pace is more about going the distance. And just a little bit ahead of the Red Bank swimmer in lane three. But he gained some ground on the turn. And considering he was catching up at the time, I would expect to see that gap grow as the race progresses. Seaburger over there in lane six. Seems to have laid claim to third. Still a pretty good battle for fourth going on right now. Sukash stretching out his lead a little bit. We see O'Rourke beginning to catch the Red Bank swimmer in second. Maybe a change of position here shortly. No question about Sukash as he's pulling away. And yes, we see O'Rourke moving into second in lane six. Uh, the slower pace by the Lawrence team starting to pay off. Sukash still with a strong lead. And Seaburger over there in six. Yeah, he's, he's got about a swimmer's length lead or two over third. No catching Sukash though, as he continues to extend his lead. 
Seeberger putting a bit more of a gap on third. Now you can see the uh, the toll that this long race is taking on Sukash as his stroke has slowed down a little bit and not quite as smooth as it was at the start of the race. Still the fastest thing in the water, however, as he's drawing further and further away. No challenge for Seaburger as he's clearly got a hold of second place now. Red Bank solidly in third. Red Bank also in fourth. And there's the bell signaling the final lap for Andrew Sukash. That may provide a little bit of motivation for him to go even that much faster. There's the final turn for Sukash. Put it to it and see if he can get down that lane as quickly as possible. Take the win. There he is with a time of 426 and 93 one hundredths. Over there in lane six, we've got Matt Seeberger. Seeberger will come in for 436 and 41. And there is Red Bank. In for third and fourth. Down lane two, we see Michael O'Rourke. He'll come in for fifth for Lawrence. Good swim by all the swimmers. The next event is the 203 relay, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one. McCabe, Stone, Sabaha and Gosh. In lane three, Sullivan, Lynch, Forbes, and Kropinski. In lane five, Barnowski, Charman, Scream, and Barbinas. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, O'Rourke, Rosenberg, Gilbertson, and Weiss. In lane two, Key, Santino, Wang, and Dower. In lane six, Illidan, Matt, Zolf, and Kurgan. You're watching LTPS TV. in lane four and Michael O'Rourke and leading is exactly what he's doing. Good turn there by O'Rourke. And up out of the water in second it looks like uh, John Hilden for Lawrence in lane six. Closely challenged however by Liam Kane in lane two. And Got a swimmer here in lane three for Red Bank. Looks like he's moving into second now. Got Rourke returning now to the line. Lawrence swimming in first and third. Into the water for lane four, Roland Rosenberg. In lane two, Ian Wang. I'm sorry, Sebastian Santino in lane two at the moment. I'm ahead of myself there. Rosenberg, no trouble hanging on there. He'll hand off the lead to Kyle Jorgensen. Jorgensen really moving down the lanes quite nicely. Now on the return. And 
And in for the win, there's Lawrence in lane four, followed by lane two as Lawrence takes first and second. Lane three for Red Bank. And over there in lane six, it looks like Tristan Kerbishley will bring it in fourth for Lawrence, followed by fifth in lane five. And rounding out the field, lane one for Red Bank. The next event is the 100 meter backstroke, swimming for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Farley, in lane three, Galindo, in lane five, Fern. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Jorgensen, in lane two, Suka, in lane six, Morris. 100 back coming up next. Kyle Jorgensen in the favorite lane four. Take your mark. And away they go. Nice launch there by Jorgensen to get it out ahead. All three of the Lawrence swimmers doing quite well in lanes two, four, and six. There's the turns. Lawrence seemed to have gained a little bit of ground on the turn. All three swimmers now in the top three spots. Jorgensen and Sukash having a little bit of a battle here over the lead. At the moment, Jorgensen's still holding on to it, but Sukash isn't going away. Morris over there in lane six. Got a little bit of competition. And in for the win, it's Jorgensen followed by Sukash and Morris. Lawrence takes the top three spots. Fourth will go to lane three for Red Bank. Then lanes five and one. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. The next event is the 100 meter breaststroke. It's looking for Red Bank Regional in lane one, Lynch. In lane three, Hall. In lane five, Martinez. It's looking for Lawrence in lane four, Gutierrez. In lane two, Wang. In lane six, Four. here and try it again and into the water they go for the 100 breaststroke Gabe Gutierrez in lane four hoping to carry the banner for Lawrence but lane three looks pretty strong for Red Bank we'll see how they are off to the turn a little better turn for Lawrence Red Bank is very good at this breaststroke, apparently, in lane three. Lawrence currently swimming second, third, and fourth in this event. Red Bank hangs on to the lead after that turn. Followed by a flock of Cardinals. There's the turn for Red Bank in three. And he's stretching out his lead as this looks like his event. Katera is plugging away in lane four for second. Red Bank's already finished in lane three. There's Katera in four. And looks like Wang in two, followed by Moore in six. Now here come the remaining two swimmers for Red Bank in a very close finish for the two of them. 
Today's final event is the 400 free relay swimming for Redback Regional in lane one. Borkowski, Scream, Bakalian, and Charmin. And lane three, White, Galindo, Gardinez, and Paul. In lane five, Sullivan, Farley, Fern, and Gardinez. Swimming for Lawrence. In lane Anna, Sol, Tanapali, and Illidan. In lane four, Yuckmau, Lilja, Dower, and Kirbishly. In lane six, Algeri, Kayak, Moore, and Centino. finish the event here with a very long event, the 400 free relay. Uh, Lawrence lagging behind in two, that's uncharacteristic for this event. At the moment, looks like we've got Red Bank in lane three out to the early lead. Followed by Lawrence in lanes four and six. Lane four would be James Keane, and six would be Matt O'Gary. Not much of a challenge behind them. But for the moment, Red Bank leading the event. This event's been a little tougher on all of the swimmers today as it's boys only. They're not alternating events with the girls. So they don't have quite the time to refresh themselves that they would expect in a normal event. That goes for both teams, not just Lawrence. Red Bank definitely taking command in this event, lane three. Over in lane six, it looks like Shadi Kayat in second, followed by Andrew Sukash in third in lane four. Red Bank with the turn. And definitely We've got uh, Seaburger over there in two, digging hard. Into the water go the next swimmers. And it's Red Bank all the way. Anthony Moore over there in lane six giving chase. And he's got a lot of ground to make up. Lane four, Kyle Jorgensen trying to do the same. Red Bank heading towards your right in lane three. And we got both Jorgensen and Moore really going for it, trying to catch him. In fact, it looks like Jorgensen's closed up on Moore. And they may both be closing the gap on Red Bank. Into the water goes the final swimmer for the Red Bank team. And both the Lawrence swimmers enter neck and neck. Now it looks like Anthony Weiss taking a shot at second. Good turn by both Lawrence swimmers. They still have a lot of ground to make up, though, to catch that Red Bank swimmer in lane three. It's Anthony Weiss in lane four, and Sebastian Centino over there in lane six. A 
and it's starting to look like it's a battle for second. Red Bank well out in the lead on this leg. That'll be Red Bank in for the win with a time of four minutes, eight seconds, and 57 hundredths. And in lane four, Weiss will bring it home for 16.10. Over in lane six, with a time of 4.16.65, Sebastian Santino finished it out. Now we're watching down at the bottom of the screen in lane two, Ryan Morris finish it out for the third Lawrence entry. And he'll finish with a time of 4.40 and 53. Followed closely by one of the Red Bank swimmers. Now you're watching the final swimmer for the Red Bank team swimming his final half lap in the final event of the night. And he's giving it his all anyway. With good encouragement from the crowd. In he comes for the finish. And that will do it as the final event of the night here on the Cardinal Sports Network. This concludes today's swim meet. The final score, Lawrence 119, Redback Regional 51. Thank you very much for attending. Have a safe ride home. And good luck in the finals, gentlemen. do it for NJSIAA swimming here at the Cardinals Nest as Lawrence defeats Red Bank a score of 119 to 51. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you again next time on the Cardinal Sports Network.